Hi, Jeff here with another of my daily tips. And today is about a technique called profit slicing. So whenever I work with a business, I'm not looking for one magic bullet that's suddenly gonna change that business. Although that would be nice, but that's just not the way the world looks, way the world works. I'm not looking for one thing that changes a business 100%. 100%. I'm looking for 100 things that change the business 1%. And here's how we find some of those percents. So profit slicing, thinking about the gross profit of your business, you'll get a figure which may be 35%. So first thing is we've got to split that out. So maybe you've got some of it is from installations and some of it's from maintenance. And then you look at those installations and maybe some of those are commercial, some of those are domestic, and each of them will have slightly different figures. So we need to work out what that is. Firstly, to see if commercial and domestic are, are, are similar or if maybe maybe we didn't know that the domestic, we're not making as much GP on and they're getting propped up by commercial, for example. Then once we've, we've, we've established what the actual GP on this small slice of that profit is, then we can work individually to improve the gross profit of that thing. So let's look at our commercial installations, for example. Let's look at removing dead time, tweaking the pricing, um, finding a different supplier that gives us a better price. All those different actions that we can do to make our commercial installations slightly more profitable. We get a couple of percent here. But then we rinse and repeat that, we'll do that with domestic, we'll do that with servicing. And we'll work on every different part of the business to make sure that we get the ultimate gross profit that we can out of each of those areas, maximizing them. But we can only do that if we go into the absolute details of it. So if you want to know more about that, get in touch with me. But that's Profit Slicing, my tip of the day.